on my hours. Keep up, or I'll leave you behind. Victory is up. word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch? It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace.
always ready to fight. Get that gut! Get that We're finished here. Let's go. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, God. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. <laughs> Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Luffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Listen to me! Artorius is! He's going to! <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then.
Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. there oh I'm pretty sure you were expecting me not, not even worth my time The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. Credit for demon lady. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island. What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that slowly. <laughs> Come and face me, then, exorcist. I am honor bound to aid you. Is this all you've got? A pair of demons should be simple for you. Who wants to taste my blade next? Get 
I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our store is a flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! I'm with you! Hey! Aren't you forgetting someone? What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! I won't let you escape! Never! Deceitful snake! I'm a demon. Spare me your sermons. Then you can pay with your life! Deception! Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two! The kid's gonna blow himself up! To think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! Two Praetors, not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you! Curse you! Such ghastly demons! The Abbey, no, Lord Artorius himself must be informed! Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Moggy Lou's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel. I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. This is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh? Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? Uh, right, right. You Malachim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut.
That flag. It's got to be Ivory's pirate crew. They've got a bead on us, folks. And in case you hadn't noticed, we aren't really equipped for sea combat. To land, then. We can fight them there. Huh. Well, look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword. Twin blades. No pendulum that I can see. Hurricane! No escape! Disruption! Hurricane! Disruption! How's that? No escape! See this? See this? How's that? No! You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the Gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh?
Basically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the Gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> the pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't! That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Eifried's pirates. Eifried is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. <laughs> 